Does Jesus Really Want You to Hate Your Family? By Lynette Kittle, read by Leah Martin. Today's Bible verse is Luke 14, 26. If anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. Many of us have tried avoiding a close look at Luke 14, 26, often skimming it over in Bible reading. We don't want to address what Jesus is saying. And we wonder, how could he possibly be telling us to hate our families? At first glance, it just doesn't seem to make sense. It seems like Jesus is telling us to do the opposite of what his word tells us to do over and over again, to love one another as we love God. John 13, 34. Hating those we love the most doesn't seem to match up with all those verses about loving one another. It doesn't seem to fit with a God defined by love. So what is Jesus saying to us in this passage? What does he mean in Luke 14, 26? Well, hate in Scripture is often interchangeable with choosing someone over another. Romans 9.13 is an example of this. Just as it is written, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. Jesus instructs us to hate our own life by choosing God over ourselves. John 12.25 says, Anyone who loves their life will lose it while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. The Apostle Luke stresses in Acts 20, 24, However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Again, Jesus emphasizes Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Matthew 10, 37. So what does choosing really look like? Luke 9, 57 through 61 describes Jesus walking on the road while individuals approached him. They wanted to follow him wherever he went. But when Jesus extended invitations to them, saying, Follow me, they said they had a few things to do beforehand. Their requests sound reasonable, with one asking to bury his father first and another wanting to go to his family to bid them farewell. Most of us would see these things as the loving and compassionate things that these individuals wanted to do before following him. But Jesus' response in Luke 9.62 was this. No one who puts his hand to the plow and then looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Jesus wants us to choose him. He wants us to unconditionally walk forward with him. Looking back demonstrates there are still some things taking priority over following him. 1 John 4, 8 tells us that God is love. And he does call us to love our families and neighbors. Yet he also asks us to choose him over our own lives and our families. Following Jesus means making him our first priority in life and loving him over everyone else. Today, consider if Jesus really is the first priority in your life. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.